Good afternoon, Pastor Dave in a cold, cold, cold Herman, Missouri, <laughs> minus seven degrees, and uh, I think it's up to nine degrees now. Man, it's cold, cold, cold. It's one of those mornings you want to just stay in bed and cover up. And uh, But uh, God is good, and I just want to share with you the difference in a life that's lived in the Spirit. I tell you what, there is a change that comes across when you accept Jesus as your Lord. Now, there's some things that we need to guard against as we are facing the days that we're in. Well, any day for that goes, but in the days that we're in now. And that would be three things that I'd like to leave with you. Guard against what you think about. Guard against things that you comes down into your heart. Be sure you guard against that. Because out of the heart, the man speaketh. And guard what is in your mouth. Now, we, in, in Romans the 8th chapter, he deals with this, that if we walk after what we see and hear and everything else, it doesn't bring life. It doesn't bring life. It's the Lord that brings life. Because a physical man wants to do his own thing. He doesn't want God. But it's a change that comes over by the blood of Jesus Christ that changes it. We can get to a place right now because of this government situation, because of economic, because of, of the virus and everything else that we have. We can start thinking of so much negative that is going to drop down into our heart. And, and, and as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You can lose hope. You can lose vision. You can lose, you know, everything. And whatever you say out of your mouth, it needs to be what you really want. And we need to, we need to guard our mouth because there's life and death in the power of the tongue. And we can start speaking so much negative that it will actually kill. And if we will take the word and, and apply the word to our life just on a daily basis. See, whenever you come to know Jesus, for it says in Romans, and I'll be coming off the Romans, uh, there, the Romans, the eighth chapter, it says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. See, there is a possibility that you can just walk after your senses, just your, what you can see here. And the, the, the man is made up because of the depravity of sin. He, wants, he, he doesn't seek after God. He wants his own way. He wants to do it his way and, and, and everything. But whenever you come to the Lord... Whenever you come to him, there's something that takes place. You know, the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. And therefore, we find that, that our desires are changed whenever we come to, to him. Desires of our mind are changed. You know, the, the Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is acceptable, perfect will of God. Well, our mind is changed in, in, in Romans, the fifth chapter, eighth chapter, in the fifth verse, it says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, and they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Now, whenever you have come to look the Lord, your desire is totally different. If you don't have a different desire, I think I would check up uh, from your neck up. Like a fellow said, check up and have a check up from your neck up and stop your stinky thinking. We need to get to a place where we, our mind is transformed on what this is and not what the newspapers say, not what Washington Post or any other thing or some uh, DVD or, or some uh, YouTube video says. We need to come back to what this says right here. Now, it, notice what he says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. In other words, if you live in the flesh just to satisfy yourself right now, just to have a good time, and you have no desire for God, then there is something wrong. Because the person that's been transformed by the power of the blood has a, a new desire. His desires are changed. He wants to do what is right. He has a desire to be with the Lord. And he says it so far, it says in, in 2 Peter 2.10, but them that walk after the flesh... In the lust of the uncleanness that despise government, presumptuous are they, self-will, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. And uh, he says, they're whose end is destruction. Now, in the area of walking with the Lord, the end thereof is joy and happiness. See, when you walk in the Spirit, the desires are changed. You have a desire for God. You have a desire for the, to be with people. You know, you have a desire to fellowship. You have a desire to worship him. 
But if you walk after the flesh, you don't have that desire, and it won't be long until you'll get colder and colder and colder and not even know how dead you really are on the inside. Not only that, but it gives us a different devotion in our mind. We're devoted, as it says, for the carnal mind is enmity against God and is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. But you see that the change has come because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Whenever we receive the power of the blood of Jesus Christ to wash us clean, to wash away our sin, then we, can, we, uh, we want to do what is right. Our devotion to God is there. We, we want God. We want to do what he will. See, the flesh wants to do what it wants to do. But see, there is a change in our nature. I mean, it's not forced, folks. Once you ask Jesus, our desire and our mind is changed. Our devotion is changed. That's a supernatural value. Oh, I can't live for God. It's so hard. It's not if you come to in contact with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It's a most exciting, joyful walk because he changes the desires. He changes the devotion. He changes the direction that we're going. It's him. It's his blood. That's the power of the blood. And that's what God wants in you. I don't want you to be in discouragement and to fear. Listen, be careful what goes into your mind. Be careful what you think about. Be careful what you let come from your mind into your heart. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And you want to be careful what you say. Because life and death is in the tongue. So this week, as you go about your business, remember that God loves you. He cares about you. Confess who he is. Confess the word of God. And live a life of joy and peace so people can see the good work that you do and glorify your Father which is heaven. You're his lighthouse. I'm his lighthouse. Are they really seeing joy and peace in us? Or do we look like some old mule has kissed us in the face? No, 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 no. You're his light. Walk in the power of the Spirit and have an awesome week. This is Pastor Dave saying, go with God. We'll see you next week.